ballad of orange and grape. After you finish your work, after you do your day, after you've read your reading, after you've written your say, you go down the street to the hot dog stand, one block down and across the way, on a blistering afternoon in East Harlem in the 20th century. Most of the windows are boarded up. The rats run out of a sack. Sticking out of the crummy garage, one shiny long Cadillac. At the glass door of the drug addiction center, a man who would like to break your back. But here's a brown woman with a little girl dressed in rose and pink, too. Frankfurters, Frankfurters, sizzle on the steel where the hot dog man leans. Nothing else on the counter but the usual two machines, the grape one empty and the orange one empty. I face him in between. A black boy comes along, looks at the hot dogs, goes on walking. I watch the man as he stands and pours in the familiar shape, bright purple in the one marked orange, orange in the one marked grape, the grape drink in the machine marked orange, an orange drink in the grape. Just the one word, large and clear, unmistakable, on each machine. I ask him, how can we go on reading and make sense out of what we read? How can they write and believe what they're writing, the young ones across the street, while you go on pouring grape into orange and orange into the one marked grape? How are we going to believe what we read and we write and we hear and we say and we do? He looks at the two machines and he smiles and he shrugs and smiles and pours again. It could be violence and nonviolence. It could be white and black, women and men. It could be war and peace or any binary system, love and hate, enemy, friend, yes and no, be and not be, what we do and what we don't do. On a corner in East Harlem, garbage, reading, a deep smile, rape, forgetfulness, a hot street of murder, misery, withered hope, a man keeps pouring grape into orange, and orange into the one marked grape, pouring orange into grape and grape into orange forever.